Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Vanilla Survival Let's Play series in 1.16.3. In the last episode, we visited the Nether right there. Uh, we found an ab a abandoned portal. No, ruined portal. That's the one. <laughs> Too many names. Um, and yeah, that was pretty cool. Now today we will not be going to the Nether. Not today. Uh, today I have something else planned. Two things actually. Uh, what am I going over here for? I need uh, da -ba -da -ba. I need this one. Lure 3. I need a fishing rod. And you gotta stop making those mob sounds. <laughs> yeah, I, I see that innocent look. Stop it. But anyways, in this episode I actually want to, one, I want to tame a cat that I have found. And second, I want to make the animal like shelter roof area over here in the animal area slash ranch I guess. Over there I wanted to make, so we're going to be making that today. Um, and also, taming a cat. But anyways, before we continue, a quick word from our sponsor, Humble Servers. Do you want a micro server for you and your friends, but can't afford the normal prices at other hosts? Humble Servers got you covered with servers starting all the way at $0.75 in their budget lineup. So go ahead and get your own server today using the link down below in the description, which will support me and the channel. And remember to use promo code BINARYV at checkout to save 25% off of your first purchase. But anyways, with that said, let us go- oh dear. Whew. That- that could have been bad. That, that could have been very bad. But anyways, as I was saying, this uh, I'm not having very much success doing this. Okay, uh, as I was saying, I want to tame a cat. Now there is a swamp over here, and I discovered that there is a witch hut, and that witch hut actually has a very nice black cat that I want to uh, that I want to tame because yeah, I want a cat. It is going to be our second pet in the series. We currently have the bird, and now we're going to have a cat as well. Now, let me see. It should be... Yeah, there's the witch hut right there. Now, I'm just going to get myself a little bit closer here so we can actually see it. Because it's hard to see from far. There is a witch, I think, and just see it right there above my cursor. And you can see the cat right there on the crafting table. So, I have to lure the witch out and then kill it and then tame the cat. But first, I gotta get some fish. For this, I have this little three fishing rod that I believe I found from uh, a shipwreck or something. So that is really coming in handy right now. I don't know how many fish I'll need, but I'll get like maybe five or so. If that isn't enough, of course, we'll just have to get more. Um, hopefully, this should be fairly easy. The hardest part is actually going to be, I think, uh, actually killing the witch because I don't have a bow on me. So I should probably have taken that, but uh, we'll just have to get uh, straight up with our sword and hopefully we'll be able to do the job without dying. Alright, final fish right here. There we go. Oh, and level 20. Not bad. Alright, six fish has been acquired. My sword with been a powerful part, which is not going to have any effect whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. First off, we need to lure out the witch. Uh, first though, I think I'm gonna make that. Hey. You're gonna come out and play? Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, don't throw that at me. Alright, oh, you're on the platform. You're on the platform. You have a very annoying the position right now. Die. Okay, good. I have poison for another 40 seconds. That's annoying. But we should still be able to get the cat. Hello. Yes, we did it. Ow, I'm still dying though. <laughs> but we did it. Two fish. Hey, buddy. You're coming back home with me, as long as I don't die on the way. Uh, yep, it's following. Awesome. Mission accomplished. Now I just really hope it doesn't drown onto these, like, lily pads or something. So I'm gonna speed my way over to land here. So we are a little bit safer, because... Yeah, I, I, I don't want to die. <laughs> I really don't want to die now, that would be horrible. There we go. Alright, let's get you back home. Hopefully you won't kill my bird. Oh dear. That shouldn't happen, right? Oh no, uh, I didn't think about that. That won't happen, right? All right, we're back home. Hopefully you won't start killing my bird. We'll see. Hopefully you can actually get up here. I have thought of that. I'll just run into here and hopefully you'll... Yep, there we go. All right, you don't seem interested in killing the bird. That's cool. Yep, actually, that's it. That's a cute. That's a cute place for you to sit. Right there on the bed. Oh dear. No. Wait. Like so. All right. Cool. So, 
Um, I'm open to name suggestions for these guys, actually. So, oh, uh, wrong button. <laughs> so, we need a name for this cat, and also, we never actually got to name the bird. So, yeah, let me know a name for both of these guys. That would be very cool. I'm just gonna put those in there. Now, with that out of the way, let's put the fishing rod in here. I want to make that thing for the animals, and for that I'm going to need a few things. One, I'm gonna need these specific four spruce saplings. I'm going to be needing some bone meal, so I'm just gonna actually grab a bunch, because I want to add some more bone meal over there. Uh, I'm gonna need my axe, I have it right here. I'm also going to be needing a bunch of cobblestone, so I think I'm just gonna bring an extra stack or so. Uh... Also, it's turning night time. It's time to sleep. No oh dear. I think that is going to be everything that I actually need. Because I also need some spruce wood. But I'm gonna get that from actually growing a spruce tree. Um, now, I will agree now. Uh, I think I overdid the bamboo a little bit. There's, there's a lot of bamboo here. Um, yeah, I think I'll have to... Oh yeah, that's a lot of bamboo. I think I'll need to replace some of it with like sugarcane near the water anyway, at least. So that might be a project for another time. Uh, maybe we'll do that afterwards because I kind of want to focus on this and I'm not going to make it into a time lapse. So let me know what you guys think of this. Anyways, uh, I did not bring any dirt. I need some dirt to flatten this out. You know what? I'm actually going to grab this sugarcane right here because I will agree. We need some sugarcane in there instead of some of the bamboo to just spice things up a bit. I also need the sweet right here to make some hay bales. I probably won't be able to make as many as I would like, but I actually need a wheat farm. Now that we have an animal farm with like sheep and cows, huh? I need a wheat farm. Hmm. Also 24 wheat ain't gonna be a whole lot of hay bales. Uh, do we have any like wheat anywhere? Ah, 13 more. Okay, that's that's something I guess. Four. I guess four will have to do. And it, it should be fine. It should be fine. Put that in there. And then a bunch of dirt because yeah, we need it to level some stuff. And you can see the cat right there on the crafting table. So I have to lure the witch out and then kill it and then tame the cat. But first I gotta get some fish. For this I have this Allure 3 fishing rod that I believe I found from uh, a shipwreck or something. So that is really coming in handy right now. I don't know how many fish I'll need, but I'll get like maybe five or so. If that isn't enough, of course we'll just have to get more. Um, hopefully this should be fairly easy. The hardest part is actually going to be, I think, uh, actually killing the witch because I don't have a bow on me. So I should probably have taken that, but uh, we'll just have to get uh, straight up with our sword and hopefully we'll be able to do the job without dying. Alright, final fish right here. There we go. Oh, and level 20. Not bad. Alright, six fish has been acquired. My sword with been a puff and puff, which is not going to have any effect whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. First off, we need to lure out the witch. Uh, first though, I think I'm gonna make that. Hey. You're gonna come out and play? Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, don't throw that at me. Alright, oh, you're on the platform. You're on the platform. You have a very annoying the position right now. Die. Okay, good. I have poison for another 40 seconds. That's annoying. But we should still be able to get the cat. Hello. Yes, we did it. Ow, I'm still dying though. <laughs> but we did it. Two fish. Hey, buddy. You're coming back home with me, as long as I don't die on the way. Uh, yep, it's following. Awesome. Mission accomplished. Now I just really hope it doesn't drown under these, like, lily pads or something. So I'm gonna speed my way over to land here. So we are a little bit safer, because... Yeah, I, I, I don't want to die. I really don't want to die now, that would be horrible. There we go. Alright, let's get you back home. Hopefully you won't kill my bird. Oh dear. That shouldn't happen, right? Oh no, uh, I didn't think about that. That won't happen, right? All right, we're back home. Hopefully you won't start killing my bird. We'll see, hopefully you can actually get up here. I have thought of that. I'll just run into here and hopefully you'll, yep, there we go. All right, you don't seem interested in killing the bird. 
That's cool. Actually, sit. That's a cute. That's a cute place for you to sit. Right there on the bed. Oh dear. No. Wait. Like so. All right. Cool. So, um, I'm open to name suggestions for these guys. Actually. So, oh, the wrong button. <laughs> so we need a name for this cat, and also, we never actually got to name the bird. So, yeah, let me know a name for both of these guys. That would be very cool. I'm just gonna put those in there. Now, with that out of the way, let's put the fishing rod in here. I want to make that thing for the animals, and for that I'm going to need a few things. One, I'm gonna need these specific four spruce saplings. I'm going to be needing some bone meal, so I'm just gonna actually grab a bunch, because I want to add some more bone meal over there. Uh, I'm gonna need my axe, I have it right here. I'm also going to be needing a bunch of cobblestone, so I think I'm just gonna bring an extra stack or so. Uh... Also, it's turning night time. It's time to sleep. No oh dear. I think that is going to be everything that I actually need because I also need some spruce wood, but I'm gonna get that from actually growing a spruce tree. Um, now, I will agree now. Uh, I think I overdid the bamboo a little bit. There's that's a lot of bamboo here. Um, yeah, I think I'll have to. Oh yeah, that's a lot of bamboo. I think I'll need to replace some of it with like sugarcane near the water anyway, at least. So that might be a project for another time. Uh, maybe we'll do that afterwards because I kind of want to focus on this and I'm not going to make it into a time lapse. So let me know what you guys think of this. Anyways, uh, I did not bring any dirt. I need some dirt to flatten this out. You know what? I'm actually going to grab this sugarcane right here because I will agree. We need some sugarcane in there instead of some of the bamboo to just spice things up a bit. I also need the sweet right here to make some hay bales. I probably won't be able to make as many as I would like, but I actually need a wheat farm. Now that we have an animal farm with like sheep and cows, huh? I need a wheat farm. Hmm. Also 24 wheat ain't gonna be a whole lot of hay bales. Uh, do I have any, like, wheat anywhere? Ah, 13 more. Okay, that's that's something, I guess. Four. I guess four will have to do. And it, it should be fine. It should be fine. Put that in there. And then a bunch of dirt. Because, yeah, we need it to level some stuff. All right, so I think first, actually, I'm going to put the dirt away. And I'm actually going to chop down at least some of this bamboo right here. At the water. And put, um sugarcane instead just to make things look a little bit nicer Maybe like so of course can't let the sugarcane go to waste uh, I'm sorry the bamboo <laughs> uh, I think maybe just leave the through the two up there maybe just trying to cut down on some of the bamboo here okay I really don't need to pick all of this bamboo up because I have a lot so chop this down as well and put some sugarcane around here, maybe put one there. Get rid of these two right here. Maybe like that. And then maybe some over by the other water place, maybe? Maybe that's a doable. Maybe like maybe cut this one down, cut this one down. And then put that there. Maybe put a single one here. Like so. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to add some nice variety. Maybe I should add some more water up here. Um, I can also, as it was suggested, um, don't remember who, but it was also suggested, I think, that I could put string on top of them to hinder them from growing more than I needed them to. That is true, though I don't mind them being high, actually, so I think that should be good. All right, now I want to level this out a bit because this is actually where the structure will be on and the torches indicate where I want the pillars of the structure to kind of be. So, just gonna... Yeah, do something like this, I think. Yeah, I think I like that. Maybe expand it out a little bit more, like so. Yeah, I think I like that. All right. Now, what I wanted to do is actually put these spruce saplings right here and then grow them because I want the special brown dirt. I'm not going to say brown dirt, because this dirt is obviously brown, but I want... Hold on. That dirt. I want this dirt in here. This specific dirt I want. 
and I also need the spruce wood, so uh, yeah. But yeah, I wanted this specific dirt here around this place because it it's more, I feel like it's more animal-y, animal-ish. Like it's stomped on and it's mixed in with food and hay and stuff like that. I, feel, it, it, it just feel like it fits a lot better, uh, at least to have inside this area. I don't have a silk touch thing, I don't think. No, I don't. Um, so I unfortunately can't actually pick this up and move it. But I'll just have to grow some trees here and uh, replace what I don't want to be brown with normal dirt. I don't actually know if it will spread onto like normal dirt. I'm actually not sure. So I guess we'll have to see like these small pieces here. I guess it might, but I'm guessing it also might not. All right, this whole tree has now been chopped down. Perfect. Almost a perfect stack of block as well. Okay, uh, I didn't. S I looked at the wiki, but I didn't see anything about this um, this puzzle being able to spread. So I guess we'll just have to see. But anyways, I wanted to start building these pillars here. So I wanted to be kind of like a slanted roof. So I want this pillar to be higher than this one, uh, and I think higher by that much. I don't think I'm gonna need the pickaxe for this. Oh. Hey, okay. Nope, no longer. Uh, yeah, I think something like this would be cool. So having it two here and then having it four like so. I'm trying to just make it into like a simple design. I want this to be simple. Um, yeah, I think maybe I have to raise it up one potentially. I think like that. Uh, I don't... Hmm... Yeah, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna go with this for now, I think, and then I'll have to start making some. I better not have. Okay, good. <laughs> it preserved the parts. So, uh, I want to make some slabs with this. You see. All right, so I have some slabs and some stairs, and I'm kind of just gonna free run this because I don't actually know what I'm kind of going for. I kind of know, but I also kind of don't. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. Uh, this is why though I didn't really want this to be higher because I don't want it to be too high uh, I wanted to have it that slanted effect and I might lower these down Once again, uh, but we'll see so can nope. I'm not able to climb up there. Okay eh. Okay, this is a start now I'm gonna add I think one more level to this and then I'm gonna have to start slanting it down as in, I just need a temporary block here, like so, I think, and then continuing that out, and then lowering it to this, and, okay, <laughs> this is gonna be complicated, <laughs> and then doing something like that, oh dear, that, that looks dumb, wait, never mind, three up here, three up here, and then three on this level, okay, I think this could work. I actually think this could work. I'll just have to keep placing these and it's gonna turn nighttime soon and I didn't bring my bed. I gotta have a bed that I bring with me for these things. So I don't have to go back and take my old bed and keep moving it. What you do you mind? Alright. And the slanted roof is done. Just gotta get rid of this grass here. Alright, cool. Uh now I am not able to actually pick this. Oh, but checked. I don't have anything with silk touch able to actually pick this up, which is really, really annoying. Um, but I kind of wanted to stay inside like this area, so I wanted it to over here. But I guess I'll just have to uh, deal with it. I guess. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that it kind of goes out a bit, like it's spilling out. Um, this though seems very, very bare. I think I have the solution right here. I'm going to make a four. Uh, hold on, four. Yeah, right here, four by four opening in the roof, and I'm gonna make another tree go up. Uh, that's wrong. Go up here, and hopefully this is going to work. Uh, this is right, right? Does it really need more opening? Maybe it does. It just does not want to grow with this stuff here. Does it really need more of an opening? Finally! That took quite a bit of... 
That took quite a bit of trying. Okay then. Um, wow. Okay, I also gotta find a way of hindering then the animals from coming up here because I don't want them on the roof. That just would not make sense at all. So I think we'll have to figure something like that out. Uh, but first, now I have to chop this huge thing down. This is gonna take a bit. Really hope my axe doesn't break while doing this. That would be pretty bad. Not bad. Just annoying. Wait. I think it could, I think I'm. Hmm. I might not be able to make this. <laughs> we'll see. Now for the trip down. If you can, if you can place yourself just right, you get this where you don't actually fall anywhere, which is pretty cool. So that's nice. All right, that was the whole tree done. Now I just need to replace all of these slabs because I think we don't. I don't think. Yeah, we don't need another tree, but do we? Nah. I could use one over there, but uh. I don't think my axe will approve. All right, now I want to try something. I want to try and make some cobblestone walls. How does it look by doing that? That looks questionable, but mainly because of that. So if I could clear some dirt here, actually, having this, I don't think would look that bad. Just gonna make a bunch here and see. That does not look bad at all. Except for this part. That looks weird. I guess I'll just have to. That looks good, actually. Look at that. I actually like that. That's pretty. Hmm. That's pretty. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put that on the rest of this. Because that looks not bad. That does not look bad. I like that, at least for the sides, I think. That's doable. Maybe replace these with maybe some thing like that. Does that look dumb? You know what, that, mm, I don't know if that looks, I kind of like it, but I also kind of don't. How does it look from above, I wonder? Looks super weird from above. That's, Huh. Unless I do something like that. I think that's all right. Yeah, I don't think mm, I don't think I mind that. Now, how do I make these guys not able to get over here? Because they're not really allowed over there. I don't want them on the roof. Now, how do I do that? I guess I have to make some sort of fence here that basically blocks them off from this part right here. I guess something like that. Except that this looks terrible. Uh, I guess I have to do something like that. And I honestly think that's not too bad actually. So if I just get this pig pushed out of the way, there we go. Oh, okay. I pushed myself out of the way as well, it seems. All right. I think actually that solved it because they're not able to get up here. So I think that solved that problem. Plus, they're not able to get back here. Now, I just need to think, what am I going to do here? Am I going to put a wall here or am I going to leave this like open for them to be able to get over here? I kind of feel like leaving it open, but then this would need to continue down, which wouldn't make sense when you think about it. Unless I do something a little bit... Hmm, actually I don't know. Actually, I think I know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, except that this is a very annoying and reoccurring issue with this cave. So we're just gonna have to block that off. Because I think I have an idea. My idea is gonna be to place this here. And then place cobblestone wall on this part. No, that, no, that, that bad. I'm gonna put cobblestone walls on the... Hmm. I'm gonna put cobblestone walls on this bit right here. And of course I run out. I'm gonna put cobblestone walls on this bit right here. Okay, I think I like that. And then we're going to continue this just a little bit. Just by a tiny, tiny bit. And extend the slanted roof here. Just giving them, giving the animals a little bit more space. I think I actually like this. Should be plenty. 
So if I just get the slabs here and I do something, oh, no, nope. if I get something like that and then this going and then make it nice and pretty, I think this is doable. I'm thinking something like that. I don't think that's too bad. I kind of want to leave this just as dirt and the same with this. And then maybe I'll make some... I don't think I have any gravel to make some coarse dirt because I would like some coarse dirt here to replace the normal dirt. I think that would be nice. I'll see if I have any. Um, then I can maybe replace some of this just to make it look somewhat better than what it is currently. But I think we're getting somewhere. Then we can place some hay bales over here. Oh, but then the water's gonna do that, huh? Okay, maybe not right there then. All right, we're can then gonna put some, I think, right there. Maybe one bale right there and then another bale right there. So I guess that can kind of be the feeding food area. I don't know. Uh, I guess actually it makes more sense if I switch these two around a bit. Put that there. All right, let me see if I have some gravel for some coarse dirt here real quick. All right, I have eight coarse dirt here. Uh, it is not enough. But it is enough to maybe just see... Yeah, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better than just a normal dirt. I'm gonna go hunt for a little bit of gravel here. And uh, just see if we can just fill this out with coarse dirt. And then I think I'll be happy. I also want actually a little bit of maybe some water stuff over here. Though I don't know if I have to make that as a cauldron. To make it more like a water trough. I think I'll have to sacrifice some iron for that. But uh, let me see, there should be some gravel over here somewhere, maybe, we'll see. Boop, all right, let me see. Literally, right next door. That is perfect. I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna finish this project. All right, how much is that? 40. 40, hopefully, should be enough. Let's see how this is going to look. Not bad, and then maybe if I add a, if I add the, some cauldrons over here to act as like, a water trough maybe or maybe I should put that out here I just want something to be here I was thinking like a water place but I think a tr water trough maybe here would be better so maybe if I just dig out a little bit of random stuff here and then replace that with coarse dirt because it's like a busy part of the thing maybe I don't know <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> I'm kind of just uh, trying things here, but I think that's doable. I will admit, it doesn't look the greatest, but it's better than nothing. I just, I don't think I can get another tree to grow right here unless I have to take down all of this. So yeah, this is definitely one of the better solutions, I think. All right, we're gonna make some cauldrons here. Now I do realize that I could go all the way over to the witch hut and spare some iron, but you know what? I think this is all right. I can always get more iron in the future. You could argue that this was a little bit of waste of iron, but I want this to look good, okay? So I think this is all right. All right, final details right here, hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna put one, two, three, I think. That's one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think this is all right. And hey, they don't connect. Ooh. In that case, I don't think I would mind moving one, moving them over here to the corner, a little bit out of the way, just like that. Actually, now I might actually want them there. Well, I want three. Uh, I think I want the hay bale there eventually. Hmm. I could also do it like this. And then it's off. I feel like it should be inside here. Like so, and then I want, I think, one over here. Or maybe, hmm. All right, I think I'm just gonna leave it down here in the ground, actually. And uh, let me know what you think of that idea. I'm gonna add another one right there. And yeah, let me know what you think of this. Um, I think I might move one hay bale over, actually. Get rid of that ugly dirt. Give us this, much better. I think I'm gonna move this. Does this attach? Oh, it does attach. Just gonna put it right there, I guess. I wanted to do a little bit more with this. 
Um, but I have limited materials right now and also a little bit of limited time. But uh, I think this is a good idea because then you guys can give me some more feedback in the comments. Um, now I want to, just as the final thing here, I want to spread a little bit more uh, bone meal around here just to get some more grass. Maybe not as many flowers, but just some grass. Hey, how's this gonna look? Oh dear, that one doesn't want to grow either because of this now. Lovely. Lovely, just lovely. Hey, they're using the water to bathe. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's add some uh, growth here, some here. Yeah, I think this place is really turning out nice. I think I like this. Also, the little bit of sparkle there and sparkle there. Let's get some of this out. Yeah, I think I like this. I'm gonna try and get this acacia tree to grow. So, I'm gonna try and remove this. Grow, please. Nope. Okay. That's, um... Okay, I'll work on that off camera. But I think this has definitely been an improvement for the animals. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I might do some more to this off camera. I don't know. I'll try and collect some more weed, I guess, um, for this place. I also need to think of a way that I can... I just need to switch around. Thank you. I need to think of a way to implement some light here, and I'm thinking shroom lights will look nice with some bushes, maybe. But uh, we'll have to see. Anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed, uh, and I hope you like this kind of buildy thingy thing, since it's it wasn't really something... It wasn't a time-lapse or anything. So let me know what you think of, uh, of that. Should I do that more often? Let me know. But anyways, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. I'm going to push kitty cat over here to the side. There we go. Remember, I need a name for the bird and I need a name for the cat. Yeah. Both of them. I'm counting on you. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Contalana, where do I see? Zapu, a fruit, me, my ad, just a banting, me, kidding now.